Hey what's up guys, it's your boy, back with another Rocket League tutorial video. And today we're going to be talking about 5 mechanics you need to learn to break into champ and eventually beyond into grand champ, hopefully. Yeah, so these 5 tips, they're very basic and uh, we'll go in order from less relevant to most relevant, okay? So the number 5 we're going to start off is with the half flip. Now the half flip I, is number five because realistically everyone should know it if they're kind of close to champ, but if you're not close to champ, you should master the half flip 100%. Not only is it an insane defensive tool, but it could also be used as an offensive tool. So hitting the ball with a back flip and then half flipping so you're in momentum with the ball as well. So again, it's a very basic tip, but it's very versatile. You can use it for defense and for offense, recovery and attack. So half flip number five, just because everyone should relatively know how to do it. If not, uh, I'll link some uh, tutorial videos in the description, but it is something to work towards. So number four is flicks. Now flicks aren't as useful in threes as they are twos and ones. But that being said, flicks are still very useful in threes just for getting essentially a burst of power on the ball and getting it over one person for a pass. In twos, you can use it for a shot. In ones, you can also use it for a shot. But in threes, I would use it for uh, kind of positioning the ball, like passing the ball outwards towards your teammates or, you know, getting it towards the wall just so they can't hit it. Try to get someone out of play. So flicks, again, in threes, not as shots, but as putting somebody out of play. And in twos and ones, flicks as shots. Again, very versatile, very very beginner mechanic. Maybe not beginner, but it's a very early on mechanic you start learning, and it still is very useful to date. So now on to number three. Number three is Power Slide. Okay, Power Slide is another super basic mechanic, but I don't see nearly enough people use on, using it. And like, I have some clips here that even Power Slides can result in goals. Not only just recovery, but it can also you know, put it into weird shots, it could make it so you get different angles on the ball, so you recover it almost instantly if you do it correctly, and have a position for power, which is insane. Power slides is a super underused mechanic that everyone should eventually master. And number two, now we're getting to the most, most important ones. Number two, boost management and fluttering. Now I understand boost management isn't really a mechanic in itself, but it is, fluttering is but it also goes around with boost management. So fluttering is when you tap the boost button, I talked about this a lot in my other videos, but when you tap the boost button really fast to get like micro adjustments in the air. So you can really maneuver where you're going. And that also goes with boost management because the more you flutter, the more boost you end up saving as well as, you know, boost management as itself. You should learn where the little tiny boost pads are on the sides because side boosts are honestly virtually a trap. So yeah, just work on fluttering and boost management. And now to number one. This is number one. I was I was torn between putting number one and number two. I, I wanted to put boost management and fluttering at number one, but number one has to be wave dashing. Just because they go hand in hand as well. It can you for wave dashing, you can recover off walls, you can use them as a kickoff, you can use them as pinches when the ball's near the wall. You can use it as shots, you can use it as dribbling, you can use it for flicks. It has unbelievable versatility. Now, again, this is why I put wave dashing at number one, because I believe wave dashing is the future of Rocket League. 100%. What you can do with a wave dash, how you can manipulate your car to get that little crazy fast burst of speed, is unreal. You can do so many things with it. Like, that's why I was so torn, because boost management and fluttering is unbelievably important, but I believe just for the mechanic itself, wave dashing should be learned at a very low skill level, just so you can master at an, at a high skill level, if that makes sense. So it's something you should be working on right now to hopefully boost you in the future. Cause I truly believe, like you've seen like Squishy or other pros do it where they wave dash across the field with zero boost. 
Like, that's just one thing. You can wave dash on the ceiling. You can do virtually anything. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to leave a like, slap a like, smash that like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any uh, tips in the what I should have added or what uh, I should have not added maybe uh, in the comments. And I hope you all have a great night. And moi 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 bye moi moi bye 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 moi.